All right, welcome back to the Rakotaku Crypto Channel. All right, guys. We've been talking about, um, I've been talking about, part of my channel is to share resources, learn from others, share what I've learned. If I find anything like today, the back pressure on my grow tent, I share it. I want to share. I want the community to grow because I think it's a strong community. Everybody wants everyone to succeed. Everyone wants to make money. Everyone wants to have fun. So here's one resource I thought I'd share. I, it's just something... You take for granted, you get it every day in your email as, as newsletters, and you just kind of pass over some of the headlines. But it's relevant if you're, whether you're investing in crypto, buying, buying crypto, trading it actively, holding for dear life, hodl, or mining. You should kind of know what's going on in the, in the whole ecosystem of crypto. So this is a great site. It's Coindesk.com, C-O-I-N-D-E-S-K.com. So basically, it's like just your newsletter, news site for all things crypto. And it goes through, talks about, like here, Salvador Ambassador. Salvador is big on crypto. They've adopted it. And, of course, they're pointing out that U.S. is, a, you know, they're threatened by it because it'll threaten the fiat bullcrap. You know, the U.S. does is just print money like there's no tomorrow. Um, and just other stuff it goes through. Yeah, built, like here, Bit, Bitcoin held support. They held support at 53K. They have a resistance around 60 but, you know, go last week, you know, add, add 5,000 to that. It was 60K support and 65 resistance. So look at the bigger picture. Zoom out, too. You read these um, little, one, you know, short-term stories, what's currently happening in the moment. But zoom out a year or so and see the trends, especially when you're doing crypto. You look at the heat maps and the prices zoom out a year, you're still way up. You know what I mean? It's all oh, it's dropping, it's crashing. Ah, that's just that's just hype. I mean, in the end, in the reality of it, over a year, you're way up. Uh, so one thing I caught my eye, talking about fees, how I hate fees. I just think I've been whining about it. You know, I'm trying to get my payout from Ethermine, but I don't want to pay more than 40 guay. <laughs> I don't want to pay a stupid term. Um, but I... I it just annoys me that it's like, I hate banks in general. It's like a bank to me. They're charging you fees when you're making money and you're already paying fees by mining on their pool. So, eh, you know what I mean? Aren't you being double taxed on some of these pools? But anyway, look at this one article. This caught my eye today, uh, two days ago. Ethereum's fees are too damn high. So again, this is like I said, this is a great site. It, it may not have everything for everyone, but it's, it's kind of good to... Uh, Scan the headlines, get a, get a sense of what's happening. Like over here, SHIB slumps as large holders take profit. I don't even know what sh SHIB's at. It's at, oh, it's on my map over here. Uh, there's Dogecoin. There's, where's SHIB? I can't even find it on this heat map. Ah, uh, never mind. It's, it's whatever. Everything's red today anyway. So this one, that's a good thing to know that, you know, SHIB was meme coin. People are, you know, people are making money off it. You can knock it all you want. People have knocked it for being a meme coin, a dog coin. But... I don't know. People still made fiat off it by selling, so you can't knock it. All right, let's look at this fee thing. Because today, right now, as I speak, the GUI, the GUI is 177, 130 over what I'm willing to pay. That's 13 bucks just to get my money payout. What a ridiculous thing! All right, let's go down. Let's see what this thing has to say. Whoa! What the heck is that? All right. Uh, fees are too damn high. The most used smart contract blockchain is practically unusable. Yeah. I mean, I'm an idiot. I'll be honest. I went to public school. I'm an idiot. I got through college, basic college, went to work for DOD as a contractor, made lots of money. I was, I always said I'm the highest paid earner here with the, with the crappiest degree. And that was the beauty of it. It just shows degrees don't always equate to high pay. True. Look at entrepreneurs. Most of them drop out. Steve Jobs drop out. Uh, how many other entrepreneurs that are successful drop out because they realize how, how useless college is? That's another rant. That is a total another rant. Why waste four years in school where you can start working on your own business and be way ahead of the curve and not come out four years later with a $100,000 debt and no a contract or no guarantee you're going to have work to help pay off that debt to the stupid universities? Oh, my God. All right. Enough of that rant. This is about fun crypto. So again, I like seeing these articles. This is kind of echoing my my thoughts. It's like the most used smart contract blockchain is practically unusable. I mean, yeah, I, I had stuff on MetaMask. I had these coins I forgot about. Oh, I'll just move them over to my Exodus wallet. 
you know, like I said, I had 30 bucks, I think, in coin. They wanted to charge me 36 bucks in ETH fees just to move it. I was just like, freaking, are you joking me? This, and that's why I said, this is actually useless. I'm thinking, oh, for you guys succeeding, I want crypto to take off, blockchain, all this technology. Uh, I want it to rock, but this past weekend, a crypto investor named Zhu Su fired off a series of tweets about the state of the Ethereum blockchain. Uh, I think it's really hyped up. Go with the leader. Go with block, block, uh, block, uh, Go with Bitcoin. Yes, I have abandoned Ethereum despite supporting it in the past, he wrote. Yes, Ethereum has abandoned its users despite supporting them in the past. The, the idea of sitting around, wanking off, watching the, watching the burn and uh, concocting purity tests while zero newcomers can afford the chain is gross. Okay. Let's see... He, oh, he's part of a, he's part of an investment firm. Let's see. They, that said, he might he might be right at least about Ethereum's barrier to entry. Uh, let's see. It goes without saying. Accessing Web three is already somewhat arcane. It's not enough just to buy crypto on Coinbase Exchange. If you want to use DApps, decentralized applications, explore DeFi protocols, or get in on the NFT non fundable non fungible token craze, you are going to need to master the ins and outs of unhosted wallets and token swaps. But even once you know all that, Ethereum still asks for fees, <sighs> which at this point in development of the blockchain can be shockingly high. Yes, yes, yes. Minting an NFT on Ethereum will generally cost between 60 and $250, depending on the time of day and the stress of the network. The more users are competing to get their transaction in the chain's next block, the worse the fees. So the more users that are competing to get their transaction in the chain's next block, the worse are the fees. And that's why it's good to go to etherscan.io gas tracker. You can see the blocks come out with the latest GUI GUI fee. All right, fees can be, let's see where are we at. Fees can be way, way higher too. I remember my shock this past May when I tried to swap about six cents Oh, excuse me, six cents worth of ETH to 50 Bitcoin, an Ethereum based token. I was researching for a story and was told I would need to pay an additional $660 for a transaction that might clear in about 40 minutes. If the transaction failed, as could happen, off on our crypto network, the fee would be permanently lost. It's ridiculous, man. I thought I was just whining. This is, it is crazy. Like I said, with MetaMask to move for 30 bucks, I wanted 38. I was like, give me a break. Oh my God. It's ridiculous. Forget it. It's unusable. It is unusable for them. You want normies to take over and and adopt Ethereum per se? No, they're going to see this and go, why, why, what? No, it's not going to work, guys. You got to change it. All right. Uh, let's see. And because every single on-chain transaction needs to be verified in the same way with the same fee system, you're almost at the mercy of the market. When you're working directly with the blockchain, you're losing money every step of the way. That's good to know. At least this article is keeping it real. People just kind of glance over on the fees. All right. But people that work hard like miners who know how hard it is to get the $2 payout a day, whatever, get to build up to create $2 worth of my, you just don't want to give it away. Come on. That's why I'm holding it 40 gold for my payout on Ethermine. All right. Let's see what's all this stuff. In the real world, people aren't used to paying that much for everyday transactions. Only a tiny fraction of the population with the requisite tech knowledge and money to burn can even begin to explore Ethereum. Crypto venture capitalist, Greek 600 company, all right, is heavily invested in the Ethereum ecosystem, responded to Zoo by suggesting that the network is still in its infancy and that the infrastructure may eventually make things cheaper and easier to use. Yeah, I can see that, but oh my God, it's been how many years now since Ethereum has been around? I, I'm going to say when I first learned about it was 2016, 2017. It's, no, I think they love the fees. There's something about it. someone's making money off the fees. Again, it's not the people that do, it's the people that provide the service that make the money. So like mining, you could actually kind of say miners, some miners make money, but in general, the people that are selling the GPUs, the racks, the grow tents, the electricity are the ones making the money. All right. 
Yeah, the infrastructure is mineral polygon, a so-called layer two scaling product built on top of Ethereum. It's designed to make fees a little, a little, how about more specifics, a little cheaper, but even bridging Ethereum based tokens over the polygon network can be prohibitively expensive. Yeah, duh. Other networks like Solana are betting that users may ditch Ethereum. I think, let me say that again. Other networks like Solana are betting that users may ditch Ethereum altogether. I completely agree, man. I'm, I've been in this since 2016. I'm just like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm at the point where I want to mine, I'll mine ETH hash and just go right to nice hash and get paid out in Bitcoin. And I can transfer that Bitcoin to Coinbase without a fee. <laughs> I mean, fees, fees are horrible, man. I mean, high fees are horrible. I don't pay a, paying a small, small, but no, I'm not paying a percentage like that. It's, it's, a, it's like selling on eBay. Those fools want, they take 13%. It's like, well, what's the point in selling? You just took all my profit. You know, there's no there's tight margin when you're selling on eBay, fighting every other guy trying to sell a used or new GPU or some PlayStation or whatever you're selling, clothes, uh, junk you have. You're just fighting other people. Uh, fees, fees are not good. But then the risk is you meet in person and you get beat up and robbed, so I don't know. <laughs> you gotta weigh the risk. Oh my God. Uh, as, it now, as it's now set up, Ethereum is like a poker table with a high buy-in. The rich with their ETH stashes have the opportunity to get richer, capitalizing on crypto gold rush and becoming familiar with these systems as early adopters. Everyone else will have to wait for a cheaper option. All right, that was a good article. I'm glad someone actually echoed it. So here we go, what is this? Ethereum culture suffers massively from the founder's dil dilemma. Everyone is already far too rich to remember what they originally set out to do. Perhaps a bear market is needed to remind them, or perhaps we must build elsewhere. But this is what it is. Nothing new under the sun. Yeah, human nature, no matter what the technology is in the world at the time, human nature is still the same. People have great ideas. They start out, money gets in, greed, success, goals change, people change. And they always said, give someone a lot of money and their, their true nature will come out. It's amazing how that's so true. I mean, even if you're good, good, good will come out too. But if most people, are, most people aren't good, they're evil. And when they get lots of money, they just become worse people. All right. Reason why previous tweet has 4,000 likes in one hour. Yes, it's because users are livid that they're promised a vision of the future, then told that they have to pay 100 to 1,000 per transaction to enjoy it, and then get told some tales about how they should have been smart enough to buy ETH at $10. Yep. It's, uh, yep. Yep. The, uh, the, uh, we are the undesirables now. Uh, it's really annoying. I mean, I, I just like, that's why Ethermine, um, is becoming the biggest wallow on the internet because people aren't going to pay the high fees to get their money out. Interesting. So there you go. Look at that. Yes. I, I've seen this a lot, especially on MetaMask. What a joke. Um, he's buying this token. That's funny. And look at that. Oh, my God. Look at the network fee right here. This, come on, 1347. That is ridiculous. Come on, guys. It's going to kill Ethereum, man. People aren't, I mean, I've been, like I said, been around on this for a while. I'm fed up. And I think normies are going to come in and say, what? What is this? Highway robbery? This is stupid. Who would do that? You know, they just walk away. I think it's going to kill Ethereum. I, I don't know. I think, I hope other networks are popping up to take over. Um, where was that thing they mentioned? The one I have still have doubts of. Yeah, Polygon. Give me a break. Layer two. Yeah, it's more like, uh, fool me once. Shame on me. <laughs> fool me twice. Or shame on me. Fool me twice. Whatever it is. I screwed it up. Anyway, there you go. Shockingly high. I'm glad I saw this good article. Go check out coindesk.com. And what are we at today? Let's look at these puppy prices. Here we come. You ready? Dun, 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 dun. Bum, bum, bum. 57k ethereum 4200 ripple all right where's my dreaded litecoin oh my god 209 i hate litecoin i keep telling you why that was that was when i fell for all the hype oh i get in a litecoin it's low it's cheap and then it's going to be have the most room for growth now nah, don't buy that crap don't fall for the low price is the best thing like don't if you like bitcoin get bitcoin if you like ethereum get it despite the stupidly high fees don't fall for people saying, oh, hey, this uh, Litecoin was at 80 bucks buy-in. Eh, it's going to go to a million. No, no, don't fall for that. 
Oh my gosh. I don't even see SHIB on here. Do you guys see it? Oh, there it is on the right. It is. Oh my gosh. Zero, 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 three, eight. Well, okay. Again, I told you my story. I did mine, CB, uh, SHIB, SHIB. And again, they took half of the coin I mined just to transfer the thing to Exodus. And again, I screwed up because I went over the Binance network and I had to go back to get to my Exodus to the ERC network. And I went, oh my God. Again, I sort of know this, but I don't know it. And imagine Normies coming in. They're going to say, forget this crap. And they're going to stay away from Ethereum. It's just, what are you joking me? All right. What else is going on? What else is happening? I don't know why there's a, I don't know why there's a pole vaulter. Uh, oh, look at this. You got tech. Oh, ooh, look, chicken. All right. Binance rebuilding Doge wallet to deal with user account freeze. Ooh. All right. So there's some interesting stuff I never heard of. Hey, we saw this Ethereum thing. Which come first, DeFi, utility, yield. Some stuff I don't get. The Fed stuff, what the Feds are up to. I mean, those guys are all corrupt anyway. Who knows? They're going to look out for their best interest. So what does that mean? But I don't think they could take on the... Uh, amount of people in crypto now if they do something bad against crypto i don't think they could handle the uh the uprising it would just not be good let's see but i don't put anything past the current situation we have oh what's this block fi oh jp morgan hiring a software engineer for collateral blockchain tokenization that's good to hear this guy is a, is that jamie diamond jp morgan he was the one against bitcoin and he was late to the party now he's kind of changing his tune I would never work for a place like this. I bet they work it to death. And there's just so much risk with other people's money. I'd hate to screw up as a software guy. I don't see it. So I like this trending, held support, Salvador. And who cares about SHIB? That's too risky. But again, you can make money, I guess, if you know if you kind of want to play that game or you can lose money too. Isn't that the beauty of it? BlockFi ends free withdrawals for some coins citing high ethereum network costs okay this is there's this is too much information i mean there's a lot more coming out whoops there's so much coming out about the um high ethereum fees and it's gonna it's gonna be a backlash and i think it's gonna hurt them let's see because i use blockfi to move stuff out but i try not to buy this is my consciously try not to buy anything on the ethereum network See, they, they, they end free withdrawals for some coins, probably the ERC-20 token coins. High Ethereum network costs. The crypto lender said it doesn't expect to profit from customer withdrawal fees. Yeah. Sorry, Ethereum, you better get your crap together. Cryptocurrency lender BlockFi will move to a rate-based withdrawal fee structure beginning December 1st, ending free withdrawal. As it cited increasing transaction costs on Ethereum network, BlockFi said in a Twitter post that the move will apply to Ethereum. Chainlink, I don't know what PAX G, Uniswap, and BATO, BAT. All right. As for Bitcoin, Litecoin, and stablecoins, BlockFi noted that customers will continue receiving one free withdrawal per month. And that's a plus. That's a nice feature. Uh, additional withdrawals beyond that occur fees will vary by coin. The company added that stablecoin withdrawals are always free through an ACH, ACH clearinghouse, bank transfers, and... It, uh, and <laughs> ACH bank transfer and it doesn't expect to profit and it would offer well good for them the only problem with them is I had some Bitcoin in there and they, they said over this amount of Bitcoin we're gonna lower your interest rate so I said nah no nope. I took my free withdrawal I moved it to Voyager where I get six seven percent on my my Bitcoin and other coins I hold USDC is a lot higher and I have their Voyager token as well BlockFi I got their credit card which is good because you earn interest in rewards in um, payment in Bitcoin so that's what's good for BlockFi. You want to go get that. Check out my links below. It helps me feed the dog. Every little affiliation uh, I have listed in this in the channel helps give me a couple of dollars to feed my dog, who eats a lot of food for being a small dog. Um, he doesn't get bigger, though. I don't know what's up with that. All right, that is all I got. I figure this is kind of cool. We can watch the heat map together, and we can watch, we can watch the GUI. Where's the GUI? The GUI. I don't even know how to say it. Go sign up for um, coin tracking and have a good time. I'm going to go find the dog.